If someone asks you what the largest living organism on Earth is, what would you answer? Maybe a blue whale with a record length of 33.6 meters, or a dinosaur whose name hardly any of us can pronounce, but still, it was 35 meters. Unlike its name, it's actually smaller than Armillaria solidis. Yes, the largest living organism may actually be a parasitic and highly destructive honey fungus, which is situated in eastern Oregon. 8.9 square kilometers, this organism is estimated to be 2,400 years old. This whole thing consists of a large network of life that spans across the entire territory, connecting and communicating with every living thing there. It can create, destroy, heal and transform. There are many threats to human existence. Viruses, bacteria, aliens, humans themselves. But have you ever wondered that something as simple as fungi can end our civilization? Today we will find out how trees talk to each other, what alcohol and genes have in common, how fungi can help us in space, do fungi have intellectual abilities? How do they rule the kingdom of plants? And the most important, will fungi be our savior or our end? Fungi, unlike animals or humans, do not possess intellectual abilities in a traditional sense. They lack a centralized nervous system, a brain and complex sensory organs. However, what fungi lack in traditional intelligence, they make up for in biological capabilities. Fungi is a vast kingdom, including a variety of organisms like molds, yeasts and mushrooms. The part of the mushroom that we typically see is just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface, a network of thread-like structures called mycelium spread through the substrate, be it soil, wood or other organic material. The mycelial network is often referred as the wood wide web by professionals, as it allows fungi to interact with their environment in sophisticated ways. In this symbiotic partnership, the fungi aid in nutrient absorption for plants, particularly phosphorus and nitrogen, in exchange for carbohydrates produced by the plants through photosynthesis. So essentially, this network acts as a natural communication and nutrient exchange system between plants, facilitating a complex web of interaction in ecosystems. It is common for plants to send chemical signals through mycelial network to alert neighboring plants about potential threats, such as insect attacks. Most often, humans encounter a type of fungi called mold. It can produce toxic compounds that can cause a range of health issues when ingested or inhaled. If you encounter mold on food where it should not be, it's advised to discard the affected part or in some cases, the entire thing. Mold can produce invisible threads called hyphae that penetrate deep into food, so cutting away the visible mold might not always remove all potential risks. If you have any doubts, better throw it away. It's always wise to prioritize your health. Certain types of molds are used in production of some cheeses, like the blue cheese, where the mold is part of the fermentation process and it's safe to consume. Yeast is another type of fungi which is commonly used as a leavening agent in baking. It ferments sugar in the dough producing carbon dioxide gas, which causes the dough to rise, resulting in light and fluffy bread. Production of alcoholic beverages such as beer, wine and spirits is also dependent on fungi. The fermentation processes convert sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. A specific type of fungus, Trichoderma rizae, is sometimes used to make stonewashed jeans. The enzymes produced by this fungus break down cotton jeans, making them feel softer. Another mesmerizing fungi is a radiotropic fungi that can perform the biological process called radiosynthesis, which means using ionizing radiation as an energy source to drive metabolism. It has been found in Chernobyl nuclear power plants. Radiotrophic fungi could potentially be used as a shield to protect against radiation, specifically in space. An experiment taking place at the International Space Station in 2018 was conducted with radiotrophic strain of fungi called Clodosporium spherospermum. 
The growth of this fungus and its ability to deflect the effects of ionizing radiation were studied and the results were very promising. Fungi are the source of some of the most important drugs ever discovered, including drugs of historic importance like penicillin. These compounds have found essential roles in treating chronic conditions, autoimmune diseases, hypercholesterolemia, as well as fungal infections. Paradoxically, antifungal drugs are also made from fungus. In the wild, fungi present themselves in a breathtaking array of shapes and colors, captivating the curious eye. Imagine a gallery showcasing an array of artwork, such as the fungal world. From the elegant chanterelles to the peculiar stinkhorns, iconic species like Flyagaric with its vivid red cap and white speckle. For centuries, humans have studied and catalogued edible mushrooms, so please do not eat mushrooms unknown to you, especially if they glow in the dark. Yeah, there are types that have bioluminescence ability. Look at this beauty. Deadly beauty. For some, mushrooms offer more than feast for the senses. Psychedelic mushrooms containing psilocybin have been used in cultural and spiritual practices leading to alterated state of consciousness. Today, researchers explore their therapeutic potential in mental health treatment. So at this point, we learned that fungi can kill us through ingestion. Next on the line, zombie invasion. You've probably heard of cordyceps. If not, don't worry, we are safe for now. Cordyceps is a genus of parasitic fungi known for infecting insects and other arthropods. The fungus begins its life cycle by releasing spores that attach to and penetrate the host. Once inside, cordyceps takes control of the host's nervous system, manipulating its behavior. For instance, infected ants may leave their colonies and climb vegetation. The fungus eventually kills the host and a mushroom grows from their remains. As the mushroom is the fruit of the fungi, and the spores are in the cap, by collecting them we give the fungi the ability to spread its seeds wider. On the other hand, fungi play a crucial role as nature's recyclers. Without them, fallen leaves and organic matters would accumulate, suffocating ecosystems. Through decomposition, mushrooms return nutrients to the soil, sustaining the delicate balance of nature, so our symbiosis is very unique. While fungi may not dominate the plant kingdom in traditional sense, their interactions with plants play a vital role in overall functioning of ecosystems. In essence, fungi contribute significantly to interconnectedness of life in natural world, showcasing a different kind of biological intelligence, one based on complex ecological relationships and biochemical interactions. Fungi, while important in the natural world, lack the capacity to bring about the extinction of a species as widespread and adaptable as humans. It's essential to recognize that the threat to human existence typically involves larger combination of factors. So as long as we keep our nature clean and don't cross our paths, it seems like we can live on our small planet as equals. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video.